and welcome to my review of Bad Taste, directed by Peter Jackson. So, yeah, this is a surprise review. Um, I didn't expect to be seeing this film, actually. This is a film that I'd wanted to see for a while. Having been a huge Peter Jackson fanboy, I've never actually watched this movie until now. It was only when um, a friend of mine, uh, we arranged to, to get together and watch a couple of movies, he said he'd bring along... Um, Bad Taste, which is obviously a Peter Jackson film, and me being a Peter Jackson fanboy, I agreed to watch it. <laughs> so I thought it best to, you know, pay my respects with the review. Um, so, Bad Taste. The plot is basically that a population of a small town, in New Zealand of course, disappears and is replaced by aliens that chase human flesh for their intergalactic fast food chain. That's pretty much the plot, you know, it's as basic as that. Um, fun fact. This film was actually, I think, Peter, possibly Peter Jackson's earliest work, or was one of his earliest works anyway. Um, yeah, it was his first film that he ever made, and <laughs> it's definitely, it definitely stapled him into the industry. Um, he entered this into a film festival, I believe, and I believe it won. Um, this is a pretty astounding first effort for literally a project that has no budget whatsoever. I mean, you compare this to Lord of the Rings and King Kong, it's pretty impressive that how far this guy has come in his, in his career. Um, bad taste. I like it very much. <laughs> the reason being is that it's just fucking hilarious. The comedy's amazing. The, the script and the whole idea, I mean, the idea is so, is is kind of generic, it's kind of cliche, you know, the whole alien invasion thing, but what's funny is the fact that it's set in New Zealand, <laughs> in like these Rocky Mountains, where Lord of the Rings and Hobbit were filmed, um, but <laughs> it feels, it feels very funny, it, it kind of has a com comedic effect because of that, because it's filmed in New Zealand, and the characters, uh, well, definitely one of the characters um, makes it funny, I mean, it's played for laughs, the whole he, he he doesn't take it seriously, and that's what I like about his direction here. Um, Peter Jackson is also in the movie as well. He acts in it. Um, he plays Derek, who's like this idiot. He's the one that kind of looks like Tom Baker with a Gryffindor scarf. Um, and he also plays another one called Robert, who's, who goes around in a blue shirt, who's pretty much an idiot. He both plays pretty much idiot characters. Um, I mean, this isn't a perfect film by any means. This is his first movie, so it is going to be flawed. And I'm afraid it is flawed. The flaws, for me, the acting. Most of the acting is pretty bad, <laughs> I must say. But, I mean, it's kind of funny. They kind of get away with it because it is bad. It is their first movie. But, I mean, Jackson himself actually tries tries as an actor. I was really surprised how, how, well, how much he actually tried in his performance of Derek. His performance as Derek was hilarious. <laughs> I mean, none of it makes any logistical sense. Um what happens to Derek and stuff, but um, his performance as Robert is pretty good too, so Jackson is actually trying as an actor, so somehow he's, henceforth because of that, he's probably um, stapled himself in the rest of his movies as a cameo, so, <laughs> so yeah, he's very funny, um, the rest of them I don't really care about, um, they're, they're, they're all unknown to me, they're all, they're all just very mono, they're very kind of blandish. they don't really have a... There's no, there's no, there's no real commitment there. They're just kind of having fun, making it, which is fine. I mean, this movie is a fun. It's, com it's a complete gore fest. It's a complete splatter gore fest, which I love. Um, and I'm not normally a horror person or a gore person, but I actually really appreciated it here because it was funny. It didn't take itself seriously. It's the idea is cliche and it's silly, but it works. And they're having fun making it. Um, <laughs> I laughed a lot during this movie. I really did. Um, the the film is only 90 minutes long, which is probably Jackson's shortest movie that he's ever made. He's, he's, I mean, but it is pretty ambitious, actually. It's very ambitious. I mean, he's a director who likes epic scope, and that's very much potent here. Um, the action and all of the gore is, is really impressive. I mean, all the special effects makeup he did himself. So... I mean, if this didn't win film festival, I'm surprised. It, you know, it, if it wasn't to win a film festival, then I would be very surprised. But thankfully, he did. You know, 
it, it just proved he can tackle ambitious projects. I mean, this is impressive for, you know, a no, well, pretty much a limited budget project. I mean, I, I look up to this. I really do. Jackson is, has inspired me with his work on Lord of the Rings. And, you know, to see how the guy started out, it's, it's amazing how far he's come. It's really amazing how far he's come. Um, and I, I'm amazed also he got someone to do his um, soundtrack as well, which is which is awesome. Um, yeah, it's, it's not much else to say. I think the aliens themselves look really, really awesome, and um, the 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 design is just is just incredible. I mean, apparently he had problems setting them in the oven. <laughs> it's just I mean, when you talk about that, it makes it. I mean, he's pretty much a student. Sorry about that. Um, I think um, the the only problem is sometimes the characters. You don't really invest in any of the characters whatsoever, other than Derek. I mean, I like Derek very much. <laughs> He's very funny. But this this movie is not made for its characters. It's not really made for the story. Thankfully, these are things that he would later go on to improve. He finally gets to Lord of the Rings. Um, he finally finesses the character development and the story. Um, the story is basic. This is just something that's made for fun. And, you know, genuinely there's a lot of passion that's gone into this. And all of the... Um, the blood and guts it's it's really amazing it's really amazing how much they they um they actually got and how much they achieved it looks so realistic it really does you can't honestly fault it i mean the passion that comes from peter jackson is just incredible he he emulates so much passion in his work and this is no exception and this is how he started out and um how he was able to cast all those people and you know it's 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 hilarious. You just watch it. You go, this is brilliant. This is funny. You know the fact that it's set in New Zealand. The fact that it's you know the fact that it is just comedic. I mean the best line of this film has to be, um, you know, "I'm a Derek. Derek's don't run." <laughs> I can't do a New Zealand accent, but the point being, you know, that was funny. Um, so I would encourage you to, if you liked Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and the King Kong. I would encourage you to watch it just to see where the guy started and, you know, genuinely, I think it deserves to be recognised and I hope it gets an official sort of release one day because um, it's it's incredible to see where he came. He's, he's, he's a brilliant director, he really is. He, and he actually hung one of his actors over the side of a cliff. I mean, if that isn't ambitious, I don't know what is. I mean, for the time, obviously, for, the, for a low-budget production... You know, the, you know, this is incredible. I mean, I think, like I said, the biggest problems with this movie are definitely the character development. The, the story is good enough for what it is, because it's, it's just meant to be fun. It's not meant to be taken seriously. So the story is good enough for what it is. Um, but the characters needed a bit more finessing. I didn't really know who... I didn't remember who any of the characters were. And the acting wasn't really up to par, other than Peter Jackson himself, which is surprising. Um... I mean, all the special effects makeup are astounding. It's so realistic. You wouldn't honestly fault it. I mean, I can't call it a masterpiece. <laughs> you know, nobody starts out making a masterpiece. It's not perfect. Um, there is actually one of old guy who's kind of pantomime-y. Um, he's like the main villain. Uh, I can't remember his name. But he's like... <laughs> like, he has that kind of demeanour about him. And that's and it's just very funny. <laughs> My friend, we were just... We were just laughing so much, and I, I planned, to, I wanted to eventually, I don't know when, I will eventually review all of the Peter Jackson movies. I still have so many more of his films, films to watch, but this is a, a great movie. It's so entertaining. It's it's just a great rollicking ride, and it's 90 minutes. It's his shortest movie that I've seen so far. Um, so, yeah, and whoever does the music score did a, did a decent job too. So, I am probably gonna rate this movie an 8 out of 10. Things, spe it's, well, it is spectacular, but it's not anything like as groundbreaking as like what he would later do in his career. Um, also, 
the explosion shot of the car was impressive, and also the um, model shot of the house taking off, well, this house ship taking off was awesome. <laughs> it's just funny. It's just so funny. Um, you kind of have to see it to believe it, so I'll say no more. Go and watch it if you can. Watch Bad Taste. Watch it! Watch it now! <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much my review of Bad Taste. If you've seen the movie, do you agree? Do you disagree? Put your comments down below. Let me know. Um, which Peter Jackson movie would you like me to review next? I will see if I can get hold of it as soon as possible. I've already reviewed uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, the Hobbit trilogy, and his King Kong remake, so those will have to be ruled out. Um, you can find those on my channel. Um, so yeah, out of the other films that he's done, which would you like me to see reviewed next? So until then, guys, thank you all for watching, and as always, I'm Mr. Todd's 11. See ya.